What is going on guys? So today I'm going to show you how to get one of the best early game weapons that nobody is talking about. It is the Bloodhound's Fang. This weapon is versatile for not only PvE, but is one of my favorite weapons for PvP right now. This weapon is similar to the boss weapons of Dark Souls 3, so they do require the somber smithing stones for upgrade rather than the regular smithing stones. This weapon in my opinion is best for a quality build at early game as it does need 18 strength and 17 dexterity. So if you want to use this weapon as fast as possible, then I think your best starting class is the Vagabond, as it gives you an overall good stat allocation for quality builds. So first, let me show you how to get it. So you can find the Bloodhound's Fang boss in Limgrave to the southeast of your spawn location. I suggest actually going through the starting area first a little bit, just to get more comfortable with your weapons that you do have. As this boss isn't necessarily hard, but isn't necessarily easy either. It just depends on your overall experience with souls games you may or may not need a stone sword key i don't remember needing one at this exact location but there are other areas like this around the map that i have needed one but for whatever reason if you do need a stone sword key you can purchase them from the merchant at the round table and they are four thousand souls so now let's go over the boss fight so like i said earlier this guy isn't necessarily too hard but he's not very easy either he's kind of like the average souls boss so to speak which can be very difficult and frustrating at times but let me go over a few quick tips to help me complete this on the first try. So I play the kiting and counterattacking playstyle. Basically what this entails is I let him come to me and I counterattack his attack chains. So I will dodge his attacks, he'll throw them out um, and then I'll counterattack him. Basically in essence, this is how you really do any souls boss, not just this one. He has some wide attack chains, sometimes three and even four that have some big sweeps. So they will roll catch you sometimes, but that is okay. Just be sure to kind of keep your distance a little bit and just let him come to you. Don't really go to him at all, uh, unless he's really at one HP. But sometimes being greedy will get you killed and it'll make you very, very mad. So like I said, just follow his attack chains, let him come to you and you will be A-OK -okay, and you'll be able to kill this guy in at least two or three tries, I guarantee you. So now let's go over the stat sheet of this weapon and let me explain why it's so powerful in not only PvE but in PvP as well and then we'll go into the moveset. So this weapon is one of my favorites for boss fights right now as the passive effect causes blood loss buildup. So what is blood loss buildup? So basically there's an invisible meter um, on the boss and basically you increase that meter by just attacking them. So it can be light attacks, it can be heavy attacks, uh, it can be your weapon arts anything this weapon increases their bleed blood loss uh status and once this meter gets full they will explode and when they explode it deals massive amount of damage upwards of a thousand and this is why this thing is so good in in pve aspects just because of that alone not even because of the move set this this weapon has in itself so let me show you kind of the move set and the pve aspects and implications of this weapon um as this is what i more than likely will be doing most of the time anyways um, just basically just PvEing just to get um, more weapons and go further into the story on um, just the PvP. So here is the, the attack chains. Um, very simple. This is the R1s. They're not too bad. They got some good range, um, but I like the R2s for fighting outnumbered in most situations in PvP. Um, and it's just, it's got some good wide arcing stuff and it's got a, a nice little slam there um, on the uh, attack chain like that. So you'll just hold that R2, and that's some massive damage. Now, uh, here's the uh, sword and shield. So here's the light attacks. So we hit R2, and then hold that R2 again. The big boy damage right there. So that's a that's a three attack chain like that. Okay, and then here's let's check out the 2H. So um, we're gonna do the weapon art. This is my favorite thing of all time. This thing is great. It's so nice in PvP. Uh, even in PvE, this thing hits very very hard. Like this is. This is more than a heavy attack, fully charged, just about. Um, and it also gives us this movement. So the reason why this thing is so good is it gives you a spacing. So if you have people chasing you or whatnot, um, you're running away, and then you just turn around and smack this, um, and then you can change targets and hold that R2 again, and this is a massive amount of damage to guard break. So again, we'll press the weapon art, it does that, and then we can do a chase down and hold R2 afterwards. And it's just massive. It's just so good for PvP because, like I said, you're getting chased down. 1v2, 1v3 all the time in invasions. Turn around, smack them, um, and then you can change targets to somebody else over here and can hit them now. So 
It's just in PvP, it's all about movement. It's all about hitting multiple people. And this thing does a lot of damage. Like I said, this thing can one shot people in most situations. Uh, and it's just so good because you're always, always, always outnumbered. And hitting a wide arc of 90% of their health um, on two people is a lot of pressure. And then you can also go into a jump and then into an R2. This thing is very good for roll catching as well. So you can do your regular R1 roll catch um, or you can do your jumping attack. This thing gets people scared because they'll roll dodge and then you just go right on their dome and it's just so good. This this is, is a very good roll catch as well. But that's really it for the move set of this weapon. Overall, I, I think this is one of my favorite weapons of, of, of all time right now. Um, I do plan on going over other weapons. I just got to get a little bit more stats like this golden halberd. Uh, this wind uh, wing scythe i can do guides on these weapons as well if you guys want me to show you how to get these um i know this golden halberd is amazing uh, in pvp and i will definitely be trying out this um, i may make a strength faith build uh, a little bit later but this is a quality build right now um, that i'm trying to do for my first playthrough but that is all for this video guys i hope this kind of helps you and kind of understand a little bit more about this weapon i will possibly do a you know an in-depth weapon showcase of this thing so you can actually see innovations and all that a little bit more um, than just showing you how to get this weapon but that's it for me guys hope you have a good rest of your day and i'll catch you in the next one peace